Welcome Taurus. This is your reading for August 2024. So before we begin, I'm going to ask that we're surrounded by pure white light and I'm going to ask to have your higher self come forth today to give you the information that you need to hear for your highest good and the highest good of everyone else concerned. So let's jump in and see what's going on with you Taurus for the month of August. Ooh, mad. Okay, Taurus, what's going on with you? That's making you a little perturbed. We'll see. Okay, so this is being seen clearly. So it's talking about there's some things that might have annoyed you uh, this month and you're, um, you're seeing it. You're trying not to get mad about it, but it still irks you a bit and it's showing up right now here. Okay, it could be that noise of that next door neighbor. <laughs> That you see or maybe even something the neighbor's been doing that you don't like and it's making you angry and upset okay so peacock again um this is being um, stubborn um it's kind of like you're seeing things and it's annoying you okay and you have your own way of doing things and you're seeing somebody is not doing it the way you want and that can annoy you too so this can be in a lot of different things. It can be in relationships, it can be with neighbors, um, it can be with family members, but it's showing that you're kind of like getting annoyed at things. And, and it might be that somebody else is being a little, mm, you can say conceited or self-absorbed. And that kind of makes you mad too, because you're seeing it. Maybe they're not paying enough attention to you right now, but this seems to be coming up. Confidence, confidence, okay. Let's see if it's confidence you have. Ooh, okay, so the snake. So you know you're a dynamic person. Um, you know, Taurus is a very strong, very strong-willed, has a big personality, and you have a lot of energy. You take a presence when you walk in a room. People acknowledge that you, you have um, great opinions, ideas, and sometimes when people don't bend to your ideas, it can it can kind of annoy you. And it might be this month you're seeing a little bit more of that happening. Let me just see. Okay. Um, this talks about celebration too. So even though you might be annoyed with hanging out with some people, you don't maybe that they've kind of annoyed you a bit. Um, but you're going to be invited to other activities, and it, it says for you to go. It says just have confidence. You're fine. You're strong. You know, this can be, again, with, you know, let's say a neighbor that you like one neighbor and you don't like the other one. Well, you know, don't stop yourself from not going to that party, okay, or that, that event, okay? Again, if it's family and there's one family member you get along with and the other one you don't, just go because, again, you can, you can rise above this. You can be strong. You can walk in there and you can do your thing. So, and you will enjoy yourself. So don't deny yourself that pleasure because you're kind of annoyed at somebody being a little self-absorbed okay and again it can be family friend partners it could be all three this month and the card that comes up is automatic and we'll see why that is automatic for you okay um the card that comes up is automatic and feeling hurt so again you can be a little bit of an empath too even though you're strong sometimes you take things so personal that you automatically go to that place of feeling slighted and um, what it's saying is if you're feeling that this month try not to go into that place try to rise above it this time um, because you're 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 gonna be thwarting your enjoyment for the rest of the month and you have so much more fun activities and things to do and don't let that other stuff get in the way okay I know it's hard sometimes to rise above it, but look what you've got, the best card in the whole deck, um, interestingly enough. And this is the loyalty, friendship, trust, um, and actually a hummingbird just flew by, but you can't see it. So I, even more of, so of a messenger because it's joy. So it says to me that, that no matter what you're feeling right now, if you were feeling you didn't want to go, or you're feeling, you know, you're mad at somebody because they were, you know, being a little selfish or self-absorbed, this is the loyalty card. This is no matter what happens, you're gonna stand up, you're gonna have a great time, you're protected, you're blessed, and you have people who love you around you. This is such a great card. So 
the message for you for the rest of August is don't allow any kind of um, slight feeling slighted or anything like that um, make you stop from doing activities or uh, things, um, events coming up or you know dinner parties or visiting friends, family, whatever it is because you really will have a great time. So again, go enjoy. Don't let anything get in your way because it's going to be really good if you just enjoy it, okay? So that's all I have to tell you for August, just to keep your eyes peeled. And um, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how this um, pertains to you. Comment, like, and if it's the first time, Taurus, you're watching, please subscribe. So have a great August. Again, thank you so much for watching.